What's going on everybody, C4 here. Welcome back to episode 23 of the San Antonio Marshalls Flashback Franchise. We are here finishing up the back end of the 2008 regular season. We're right about on pace to catch up to where we should be uh, come the end of Madden 20. Because we know we do right now have a Florida Gators franchise. I got still probably about two to three videos left. Same with the PL Mullins, you know, trying to utilize the college mod. But other than that, man, we are going to be going full force here. Finishing up the Marshalls as we right now are in the midst of a season. We're trying to defend our Super Bowl title. We're 6-2-0, and oh, a game behind the Colts. Um, well, I mean, I guess a loss behind the Colts is what's separating us. So we're definitely going to look to try to pull ahead and get back uh, not only an AFC sell title, but get back as a first seed in the playoffs and maybe getting a first round bye. As far as what games we're going to play today... I feel like we'll take our latest divisional game that we have available. Other than that, let the sim do its thing. So we have our week nine buy, and from that buy, it's a great time to look at our in-house signings. First up, we have Evan Mathis. He's 26, 89, star dev. See if we can get him, which we are. And we've been spending very frugally in free agency because we have such a good team. Uh, I've been fairly optimistic that you know our in-house signings is the best spot to go with spending our money. And it's, it's been paying pretty much a lot of dividends when it comes to that. So we could look. Dealman, if he'll take that, we will. If not, I'll, we're going to have probably have some turnover here. He wants more money. So really, Evan Mathis was the only make or break. And the rest of these guys, as of right now, they're going to be leaving the Marshalls this offseason. Week 10 against the Jets. You're supposed to be good when you come out of your bye week. And we fall 23-17. to 17. Just wasn't a great game. Vince Young wasn't anything special our run game was not anything special either rudy johnson what uh andre johnson had a good game though 81 yards and a touchdown 12 tackles daryl smith two sacks for jared and we got after the quarterback there we got after chad pennington but uh, obviously wasn't enough as we fall to a game that we fully expected to win against the jets right after the bye if you're going to bounce back from ugly loss, it better be against a team like New England where you could get some momentum, beating them by one in a classic regular season matchup. 34-33, to 33, the Marshals move on. I mean, we see them all the time in the preseason. Vince Young played like dog shit. 295 passing yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, but the running attack went off. Three touchdowns, 100 yards for AP. Reggie Bush also chipped in. Andre Johnson had a big game. We had a sack and a half, big V. Uh, again, we're getting good pressure after the quarterbacks. Turnovers in the secondary by way of interceptions aren't you know, where we really want them to be. But either way, you can't be upset beating Tom Brady and the Patriots 34-33. to Week 12, divisional opponent of the Tennessee Titans. And it was ugly, but we'll take it. 15 to 12 Vince Young did something that's that's probably you know, I don't know if that's good or bad that's finally an okay to good game for Vince Young 235 yards two touchdowns uh Greg Jennings caught said touchdown we got four sacks combined between Vince Vilfork and OCU and you sack and a half for me Bain take that Sean Taylor gets an interception I'll take that man we'll take that ugly victory within the division as we maintain or try our best anyway to maintain pace with the Colts I think we have the Colts week 14 that's gonna be the game we're gonna hop into and try and impose or will remind them that when I get on the sticks we're the best team in the AFC South who says defense doesn't win championships look at that seven to nothing what is 1901 with a freaking score line like that, Vince Young, 234 yards, had the lone touchdown on the day to Andre Johnson. As our defense came up big, OCU Manure, two sacks. Our sacks have been off the chains right now. There's, there's no team in the NFL that's getting better pressure than the, uh, the San Antonio Marshals. We got a lone touchdown there to Andre Johnson in the fourth quarter. The big time players make big time plays. We didn't see a lot of turnovers for Vince Young. It's ugly, back to back ugly wins. But we'll take it. Considering the Packers in these, you know, flashback rebuilds are super overpowered, and I think they also were a two-loss team. So that's a big-time victory for the Marshals. Some good momentum. Week 14, we fall there to the Detroit Lions, 28 to 21. Tony Romo. Oh, that is a painful loss. Former Marshall quarterback Tony Romo had uh, probably his best game he's had since he's left us. As Vince Young did not. Two turnovers on the day. Our running attack, AP, got two rushing touchdowns. He was okay. 
Reggie Bush, dynamic out the backfield, 63 yards and a receiving touchdown. Two sacks, Jared Allen. No turnovers. So we got beat by Romo. Oof. Oof. Maybe, that's, maybe we should have played that game. Maybe we should have realized that Romo was on the lines and played that game. But I figured week 15 was going to be slightly more important. At the Colts, the Colts have a one-game lead on us right now in the AFC South. I mean, Jags are staying tough there too, 8-5. and five. But we're 9-4, and 10-3. This could be for the divisional lead. We have the Bengals and Chargers closing out the stretch. Both okay teams. The Chargers get LaDainian Thompson there, and we all know how they are in the sim. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's not for saying that we get a victory here. We're going to win the division. But this is a huge, huge game, and we weren't going to miss out on that. Especially when, you know, because whenever we get on the sticks, we can make Vince Young play like an 88 overall quarterback. For the reason when he's in the sim, he plays like a 75. So... Let's get into it, man. What are the Colts looking like? What are we dealing with from a stats standpoint? We know they have an overpowered roster, but statistically, who's been going off to get them to this point? Peyton Manning has been pretty good. 3,600 yards, 29 touchdowns, 10 picks. They've run the ball fairly well with between Michael Bennett and Edger and James. From a receiving standpoint, Reggie Wayne's over 1,000 yards. No, uh, what he got there, though? Okay, they got Heath Miller at tight end, but they have no more Marvin Harrison. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, defensive side, Dwight Freeney has 11 and a half sacks. Mike Peterson, 10 and a half. Okay. Okay. No, not too much in ways of interceptions. They do have Peanut Tillman. So they have Dwight Freeney that we got to be afraid of. Reggie Wayne, Edger and James, Peyton Manning. So the familiar faces of the Indianapolis Colts. Am I worried one damn bit? Absolutely not. Let's get into this game and let's regain lead in our division. The division the Marshals own. Oh, it's just Reggie Bush on the first play. I am a god with Reggie Bush. He is a user god at running back. Any play. There is literally, like, let's be, there is a 25% chance that every play, I'm going to take it to the house. 25. One in four. I'm going to the house with Reggie Bush. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Does it work again? Oh, my God. <laughs> back to back. Like, I know the spin move is over P, but this is ridiculous. We were playing all pro with sliders that we can get spanked on. And Reggie Bush has broke the game. He is legitimately broke Madden. That is how good he is. Oh, Vince Young. Why am I why am I throwing the ball when Reggie Bush takes to the house every play? Why was I throwing it to a fullback? Okay. This is this is if he this is nuts. This is literally absolutely nuts. It's inside zone, spin move, touchdown. Rinse, repeat. Because it work again. If it works again, ah, it's a glitch. It's literally, I, it's a glitch. It's, it's a glitch. Oh, let's go. Wide open, blown coverage. Andre Johnson, they're so worried about... Reggie Bush out the backfield on that inside zone. Andre Johnson, 99 overall wide receiver, wide open as we extend our lead. But still, we've been looks like we've been dominating. If you just been paying attention to the highest of courts, the sim is keeping the Colts in it on defense. Oh, come on. Oh, he has no juice left in this spin move, but we're eclipsing. We're getting close to Eclipse 400. I don't know what the record is for rushing yards in the game. It's definitely not in the 400s. It's this inside zone. Reggie Bush, they're, they're subbing in Darren Sproles. Let's just see if it's if it's the play call or is it Reggie Bush. Darren Sproles, good player in his own right. Does this play work? And it doesn't. It doesn't work. It's Reggie Bush. Oh, let's go, Reggie. <sighs> He's scary. He's scary good. You thought USC Reggie Bush was scary. And okay, it's Bo Jackson from Tech Mobile. Scary. Absolutely. Like, this is what happens when I get on sticks, baby. I get Reggie Bush. I've somehow, some way, made him into the greatest running back that's ever graced the face of the earth. Record breaking. Most rushing yards in a game. Probably most rushing touchdowns in a single game today. We didn't have to use that bum Vince Young, who's not playing well at all. We put up 52 points, uh, the division lead, maybe the best team in the game. 
Put some respect on him. We only threw the ball six times. One touchdown, one pick for Vince Young. Look at the receiving. We got 51 yards and a touchdown for Andre Johnson. I like to see that. Defensively, three sacks. Osu Yumanure, two for Mibay, which is great because Mibay is more of a run stuffer. And at least in our save, he's developing into a little bit of an interior pass rusher. We got a pick from Ernie Sims. But it's all about Reggie Bush on 17 attempts. 472 rushing yards, six touchdowns on the day. Mother of God. I mean, that was obvious. Reggie Bush getting AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And uh, NFL records. Most rushing yards in a game beats the record by almost 200 total yards. Uh, by actually a player on our own team, but hypothetically speak at this point anyways beats the record by almost 200 yards Jamal Lewis for the Baltimore Ravens For touchdowns just beating it by one with six on the day Closest to us from this time would have been well realistically like within ear showed Clinton Porters with the Denver Broncos With Mr. Shanahan Mike or whatever his name was can't remember his dad Kyle Shanahan's dad that I can't remember for some reason right off the top of my head. But my God, right, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. NFL record-breaking, just the greatest rushing performance the NFL has ever seen. Following on that dominant performance, we get a dub against the Bengals, probably the most winnable of our final two games. 24-17 to 17 on said game. Vince Young was, again, you know, not great. Uh, running the ball, Adrian Peterson over 100 yards. 30 yards and a touchdown here from Reggie Bush. We got Greg Jennings had a good game. Dallas Clark had a pretty good game. Andre Johnson got another touchdown on the board, which is pretty dope. Sacks are, remain one of the strengths of this team as we enter the final game of the regular season against the Chargers with the division on the line. Win, probably a first round bye. Lose, might have to go the wild card route. And in an utterly dominant performance, 35-7, to we knock off the Chargers. Finally, a good game for Vince Young. Get a little bit of momentum before this playoff push. 282 yards, two touchdowns, no picks on the day. We got 146 rushing yards, two touchdowns from Adrian Peterson, the main man. Reggie Bush chipped in over 100 yards from scrimmage almost. And a receiving touchdown. Clark was okay. Defensively, we got a couple sacks. And by a couple, I mean a whole lot. Ernie Sims looking like a great trade midseason there, bringing him over. I uh, get another pick as we just get big time victory. 12 wins on the season. And where does that find us in the playoff hunt? And it finds us smack dab in the wild card. 12 win wild card team. And yet, not only a 12 win wild card team, but we get the right to take on Tom Brady and the Patriots at Gillette. Foxborough, oh man, really competitive AFC South, 12 and 4, 12 and 4 between us. We already know who the better team is. We dropped 50 points on them. Ugh. Ugh. So annoying. Uh, well, there you go. This, this, this is what this is what we got to do. We we got to go through the playoff run. Um, but you know, we're, we got into the playoffs. I guess that's all we wanted to do with how weird and wonky the sim could be. I mean, getting to the playoffs here in the 2008 season after winning the Super Bowl last year, it's still a blessing. It's a blessing. It's, it, you know, you get a, you take it for what it's worth and understand that we very easily could have been like six and 12 or something. That's not even make sense. Six and 10. Uh, but looking at our stats here, we finished with a 95 overall team, 99 offense, 97 defense for regular season stats. Vince Young was bang on average, 4,000 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, 14 picks. What does that mean for the future of uh, for us at the quarterback position? I honestly have no idea at this point. When I play with Vince Young, he's acceptable, but clearly with the sim, we might be able to have to maybe have to find a better option. I don't know how hard is it to hand the ball off. Look at that rushing freak. That's freaky. I was 1,400 yards, 20 touchdowns from Adrian Peterson. I was kind of pissed. I was hoping Reggie Bush was going to get over 1,000 as well. But that 18 rushing yards that he had in that final game against the uh, against the Chargers, you know, really did him in there. But still, almost nine, 970 yards, 16 rushing touchdowns. You throw in the fact that he also chips in with 569 receiving yards and three touchdowns. So that gives him, you know, four, almost 1,500 yards and 19 touchdowns. So just the fact that we got... 39 total touchdowns between our two running backs. Uh, how many total yards? We got like 2,000. 
Like 3,000, 39 touchdowns, 3,000 yards from two running backs. It's goddamn historic. Look at the rest of the receivers here. 80 catches, 800 yards, four tutties for Greg Jennings. Over 1,000 yards, eight touchdowns for Andre Johnson. Wes Welker was solid. Dallas Clark was solid. Look at the defense. Daryl Smith led the team with 111 tackles. On the sacks front, we got 13 from Vince Woolfork, 12 from Osu Minura, 12 from Brandon Meebang, 10 and a half from Jared Allen. So our front four is getting all kinds of pressure. Uh, in terms of interceptions, you know, I would expect maybe a little bit higher, but beggars can't be choosers when everyone else statistically across the board has been very good. Two picks to Sande Samuel, two from Sean Taylor, two from Sheldon Brown, two from Ernie Sims, and a couple singles. Looking at the awards very quickly, MVP went to Tom Brady. Oh, great. Just the guy we get a take on in the wild card round at home. Uh, Peyton Manning coming at two. Adrian Peters from us coming in at number nine. Look at Tony Rumble making a name for himself there in Detroit, coming at number 10 in the MVP race. Coach of the year went to, you know, fake coach shouldn't exist uh afc i'll play the game to tom brady adrian peterson coming in at number five reggie bush at number nine the defense play the went to ed hartwell of the baltimore ravens daryl smith coming in at six offensive work of the year went to steve slayton of the pittsburgh steelers get the sean jackson there come on come on where's the where's the marshals at defense work of the year went to curtis lofton with caleb campbell coming in at six calais campbell coming in at eight I would expect it to be a little bit higher stats there, but it is what it is. And we are setting up for the episode 24, which will be out Saturday, I think. Uh, we're going to pick up the pace, clearly. I'm going to say probably like the week of, Matt. We're, you know, I'm going to figure out a way here so that we can get through. We're going we're gonna to be in the offseason, 2009, 10, 11, 12. Like, it's going to be close. We might have to. I'm probably actually going to make it f starting after this season. Every episode is going to be a full year. That way there, you know, we can get through... Um, you know, eight, nine episodes get caught up just to see where this team, where our franchise is built at. But next episode, which will be either Friday or Saturday, will be the entirety of the playoff run from wild card to hopefully another Super Bowl berth. So I hope you guys make sure you get tuned in for that. For the best damn Madden 19 series that still is going here on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching. As always, if you're first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping You talking that shit, well you talking and talking Look at my options, look at me dropping Ass in the game, like who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never